Hello again. I want to go back to the Navais mods firmware for Reality Ender 3v3 SC. Because in my last video, I don't think the explanation was quite understood. So, firstly, you have to go in the calibration tab in Orca Slicer under Pressure Advanced and choose DDE and then you can choose PA pattern or PA line. It's regardless what, what you choose and click OK. I don't want to save anything. And once you slice this, you'll have this result. Personally, I went with the other one, with the PA line. And once you slice it, this will be the result. Also, this you, this is what your printer will print. So you'll have to take a look on the lines and see which one is the best for you. So for example, this is my result. And for me, I think somewhere here between these lines is the best result. Sorry, between these two. So I went for something like 0 0.11. So right before this one. At the first sight, I thought that this is the best one, which is four, but as you can see, the line is not very, it's too thick. No, so it's not very smooth. So this this was the, the correct one for me. And in order to do this, after you are printing this and analyzing this, you can go in uh, Orca and input a model. For example, for this case, I would use the cube calibration test, uh, 20 by 20. And then you have to go here, click to edit preset, and then uh, go to here under filament, you'll have enable pressure advance. And here you can choose, for example, if you saw on the test that you did, so on this one, that the best for you is, for example, 0 0.11, you can let it this way. But let's see. So first I, I just printed as it is with no linear advance. And this is the result. You can see I will uh, throw some pictures comparison at the end. But this is the result without linear advance. Then you can go here, select linear advance. And the next test was with 0 11 for me. So you just have to slice the plate and print this one and you will have linear advance enabled. This is with 0 11. So there's not much of a difference. There is a slightly difference, but not much. And in my opinion, this one is better. Then the next step, the next test that I did is I enabled adaptive pressure advance and adaptive pressure advance for overhangs. And then I sliced the plate again and I printed this one. And this is the next one. As you can see, it's slightly better, but here we have a line and here we don't. So it depends. I, I will draw in more pictures so you can, you can compare them uh, better. Basically, there's not much of a difference. And then 
the last test that I did is with 0 4 here. So what I, I thought that it's better in the beginning. Slice it again and print it and this is the result. The result is way way worse. So 0 4 is not something to go with. So this is the thing, because it's running on Merlin, even if it's, I mean, yeah, it's still Merlin. You have to manually activate Pressure Advance or Orca Slicer. So everything that you have to do, you have to go here, click it, press it, under Filament, Enable Pressure Advance, and here you can add your number as per the first test that you did here in the calibration, pressure advance and PE pattern. So respective to this number, so you will choose the number based on this, these lines. So for me, it was here, 0 0.11. So everything that you have to do is go here, press 0 0.11 and that's all. And you can enable these two also if you you feel there's a difference. For me, I think this is the best one. It's not much of a difference between this one and the first one. So without it or with it, there's not much. But I will add some additional pictures. So without linear advance, with 0 0.11, with 0 0.11 and enabled adaptive pressure defense and enable adaptive pressure defense and with 0 0.4 you'll also have the picture so you can decide now i think it's more clear how to enable linear advance on your pld 3v3 se using Navaismos firmware thank you for watching and see you in the next one cheers